Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. Of course, welcome to Agro Suede Backyard Garden channel. As you can see, we are not in the backyard. We are not even in a backyard and I do apologize. We have to resort to um, new ways, okay? Um, if you guys have been following, you guys will have seen that I've really been posting in an actual garden if you guys have not noticed as yet i am no longer in dominica the main reason why i'm saying i'm no longer in dominica is because of this video actually i know some of you based on the title you're gonna ask for an update on the video where i planted the tambourine tree in a pot i do apologize i have not seen the tambourine tree in a pot for almost two and a half years um so i did send a message to someone to see if they could get a picture update for me as to how it's looking right now but of course i'm not home to take care of it um and uh so this is something that i can't do for you guys you guys have been asking for an update so i am hoping that by the time i edit this video the picture will be somewhere here <laughs> Okay, so the picture will be somewhere here for you guys to see how it's looking. At this present time, making this video, I'm not quite sure if it's doing pretty well or if it's badly off, honestly. But I guess we will see the picture right here, right? Now, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because um, someone gave me some sweet tambourine seeds, right? And um, I decided to try to grow the tambourine seeds using the Ziploc bag and the napkin method. And I must say, I forgot the seeds, okay? I really did forgot the seeds. So uh, what I did, I basically put the napkin, put um, about six, five or six tambourine seeds in napkin, wet it a bit, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it between the refrigerator and the wall. The reason why I chose this spot, it's warm because of the heat from the refrigerator and it's dark. So you need to ensure that you put it somewhere it's warm, and dark not warm and bright it has to be warm and dark that will cause the seed to sprout very fast so without no further ado come and get a closer look as i go ahead and open up this bag so that we could get a look at the seed i can see so far the seedling i can see it because it's basically pushing apart for it to get space so guys based on the setting i could not pour the soil in the pot i'm on the video so i had to fill it up so that i could have it here and then we're gonna transplant um two seeds i believe i will do two seeds but after i'll go outside and transplant the others in the pot um of course it's night time um so hence the reason why i'm inside doing this video right now that's another thing i am not able to do the videos because most time i'm so busy that i don't get time till night time and when the day is coming to an end and it causes me to have to delay or cancel a video so i decided i'm gonna do it inside for you guys so just come and get a closer look as we open up this package right here okay guys so it seems like the night video is even better i can see that it's gonna be a better quality video for sure okay so here's the seed the seedlings okay i'm just going to actually burst the entire bag because i want to open it up oh look at that look at that guys look at how awesome that is so we've got actually five not six but look at this as you can see watch how this is gripping onto the napkin as you can see guys the seedling is very much desperate to go into the soil and what I love about it, it's strong. It's not weak and frail. It's actually strong. So we're gonna transplant it, um, of course, right now. Look at this. Guys, I want you to see this. Let me see how close I can come to the camera for you guys to see. But look at this. The seedling right here is basically creeping on to the napkin, you see this? Okay. So we're gonna transplant them right now. They are all, wow. So we've got five healthy, healthy seedlings, okay? Five healthy, this one, don't count it out yet, um, but it's, just, it's most like, it's like the youngest or the smallest one in terms of length. And um, this one is the longest. Let's just put them next to each other for comparison, okay? So we're gonna transplant it right now, okay? Nice. So what we're gonna do, of course, is pat the soil. Okay, gonna give it some water there. I 
and we're going to transplant the youngest one now of course as you can see the seed basically is the seedling has already decided to grow so what we're going to do is put it in but leave basically the top just slightly so that we could see it okay so go as deep as possible So what I would like to do guys is to plant the seedling in such a way that we see or the, the, the coat of the seed itself is you know slightly showing. So by the time we put it out into the sun, um, it will basically start to rise up for the, towards the sunlight, okay? Right, so that's what we're going to do. So here it is, we've done one. Okay guys, so what I've noticed, this coat is coming out, so I want you guys to see. So here it is. As you can see, the leaves, they're basically getting ready to open up. Okay, so here they are. First set of leaves for the sweet tambourine. Basically, I removed the, the, the coating. Okay, so we're gonna plant this one. Um, with the without sorry without the coating on it just gently get it in there Okay guys, so that was it, of course, where we basically transplanted the tambourine seedlings um, from the Ziploc bag technique to small pots. I will show you guys how to germinate or sprout your tambourine seedling by using the Ziploc and napkin technique. I would have to go and buy some sweet tambourine. Of course, if you want me to plant a seed, let me know what type of seed. I will try my best to sprout it for you guys to see. Of course, please don't forget to like the video and share it. And remember guys, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agris way is out. Thank you.